Hi, this is Brecken with In Spite Of and Because Of, and I'm here today to give you some of my February favorites. And today, all of my favorites are going to be gluten-free items, and I'm so excited to share what I found this month and what was actually delicious. As you know, being gluten-free, we usually find a lot of food that we do not care for, and we find things that we absolutely love. And so I'm so excited to share today my loves and favorites for February. I love to bake, and today I'm gonna to share one of my gluten-free finds from Sam's Club, and you're gonna see this big bag, or hopefully you will. This is Krusty's, and this is a gluten-free all-purpose flour, and I love, the one thing that I love about this is the size and the amount of flour that you're gonna get. This is five pound bag of flour. When you go to any of your local grocery stores that carry gluten-free flour, you're gonna get a, like a two pound, maybe a three pound, but usually they're anywhere between one pound and three pounds. And if you don't do a lot of baking or cooking with flour, you probably don't need to get that big of a bag. But what I love about it is the price that comes with it. So that's five pounds of flour. And for that five pounds of flour, I spend $12 on that flour. If I go to the local grocery store and I get one of my other favorites, which is Domata flour, a three pound bag for $10. So if I'm going to spend that money, I'm going to go get two more pounds for $2 more at Sam's Club. And my membership there is worth it because we shop there a lot for the daycare and for our family. So it's a no brainer when it comes to the flour. And the other thing that I love is that you can replace all of your recipes. So if you have family favorite recipes, if you have recipes that you found off the internet, this flour is a really good replacement. It's a one-to-one -one replacement to wheat flour, so you don't have to add in xanthan gum, you don't have to add in any extra, um, you don't have to add anything else in. So that's one thing that I love about it, is I can just replace it one for one. And so far, everything that I've used it in, I've used it in casseroles, I've used it in breads, I've used it in cakes, I've used it in cookies, I've used it in just about everything, and I absolutely love the flour. My second item that I found that I really enjoy is um, my, the second item is Live G Free from Ollie's. I shop there for our groceries, and I found these, so I'm going to put it in front of my face, make sure you can see it. And these are pretzels, and they are eight ounces, and I got them for two 89 I believe but this week they are on sale for a dollar 89 that is unheard of for this amount of pretzels normally you're gonna spend around four dollars for a, a similar bag and um, Snyder's has a bag that's the same size and there's just four dollars um, and sometimes you can get a little bit more but for a dollar 89 for eight ounces this is totally worth the money and they are amazing my sons love them they actually prefer them over the gluten pretzels, which is really, um, it says a lot about them. So my other favorite item is this big bad boy of Glutino English muffins. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I saw them maybe a month or two ago, and I never did purchase them, mainly because they were, I think they're $4.79 at Walmart is where I got them at. And I actually saw them at hy Bee for like $7, I think. And I just was like, eh, I'm not going to get them. But I went ahead and got them at Walmart. And I was like, I just, I have to see. Because whenever you can find a baked good that's already pre-made and is gluten-free, then I'm all over it. I do a lot of baking, but sometimes I want to be like everybody else and I just want to grab something out of the freezer and heat it up and eat it instead of having to go through and bake all the items. Even though I love to bake. So... I'm going to show you this big whopper. This is an English muffin, and it is huge. It is so delicious. It's more of a corn-based than a buttermilk base, um, which I kind of like the texture and the flavor. It's um, when you when you heat them up in the toaster, it gives them like a crisp edge, which is yummy. Um, and it's got like little uh, corn beads, kind of is what I would call them. I don't know that that's the right term, but. I love them. I've used um, honey and butter and I've done jelly, 
So far, everything has been great. I'm sure you could do an English muffin, like egg McMuffin. I haven't gone that far. I've only had them for a week. So I haven't done a lot of outrageous ideas with them, but they're so good and they're big. So I will definitely be buying these again. Even though it's $4.79, I will buy again. They are yummy and they fill me up. Just one of them does. So that's my third item that I really love. And another one of my favorites that I'm super excited that I found is gluten-free corn dogs. Can you believe this? Gluten-free corn dogs. I cannot tell you the last time that I had a corn dog. I was actually just telling my girlfriend today that I believe the last time I had a corn dog was nine, I think I've been, I think I've been gluten-free for nine years. So I think it's been like 10 years since I've had a corn dog. My sons love corn dogs. We go to the state fair and they have corn dogs. And I'm always so disappointed because I never ever get to try one. So I was at our local grocery store the other day stocking up on some of their sale items and I was so excited. Another reason that I'm so excited is because it's a name brand item. It's not like Glutino and all those, even though I love Glutino, it's really a wonderful brand. But it's just nice when some of the mainstream stuff becomes gluten-free, like they make a gluten-free variety because the price on it is pretty reasonable. So this was $8, so $7.99 is really the price. $7.99 and you get um, 32 ounces and there's 12 corn dogs in there and these are not wimpy little corn dogs these are really big corn dogs so I'm going to show it's just like every other corn dog that you're going to get and you're going to make in your oven from like in the frozen section but look at this this is delicious it is so yummy it's a cornmeal um, outer outer layer and then the um, hot dog is in there but oh, it is so good. It's crunchy on the outside, it's moist on the inside, and it doesn't fall apart when you eat it like some of the gluten-free stuff can. It is just yummy. And I, the other day I made only one because I know that if I make more, I'm gonna eat every single one of them. It's kind of my problem when it comes to gluten-free items that I find that I love and I just kind of want to eat the whole thing. I mean, I would not eat 12 of them at one sitting, but I would eat probably two or three, I'm not gonna lie, they're yummy. So anyways, this is my favorite thing. So you have to go and try these. Oh, I hope that you can find them because they're really yummy. All right, guys. Okay, sorry about that. My little man just woke up. So he's gonna join us for the last part of my February favorite video. And I'm gonna go back to my Eggo waffles. So here are my favorites. They're Eggo waffles and they are delicious. I absolutely love them. I just purchased them last week at our local grocery store. I got 12, or sorry, 12, <laughs> I got eight waffles for $2.99. That is a great deal. I got two more waffles than the normal brand that I usually buy, and I love them. They don't fall apart, they hold together, they have a great flavor. They are so, so yummy. I absolutely love these. And, um, our local grocery store only had the cinnamon, so I don't know if they make like an original or blueberry or anything like that, but I found them, I saw them, I had to have them because it was the exact same day that I purchased my corn dogs. And if you're gluten-free and you're watching this video, you know what it's like to go through a grocery store and to be shopping for food, and then you just happen to see a name brand item that all of a sudden says gluten-free on it, or you see any food that says gluten-free and it's something that you haven't had in a while or something new, your heart skips a beat. You know what I'm talking about if you are gluten-free because how many times have we purchased items that just suck? I'll be honest, I started gluten-free nine years ago, over nine years ago now, and I cannot tell you how much food that I have thrown away that tasted like cardboard or I put it on a counter the next day it had mold on it. I have had items that don't cook well so like I've tried um, oh like cake mixes and they just tasted like crap. I'll be honest there was really no flavor. I've gone from things taste having like a gritty um, texture or like a dirty aftertaste. I have had 
so many different problems with finding edible gluten-free food. And now that we're finding more and more of our mainstream food that's becoming gluten-free, it just makes me happy and so excited to see what else is going to be coming out. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys to go and try these new items. I love being gluten-free at times like this when I find really yummy stuff. To recap, here's my February 5 favorite items. I started with my crusties, my five pound bag of flour. Oh, I love them. And I've tried them in so many recipes. And my Live G Free pretzels. I need a glutino. Then my glutino egg McMuffins. My glutino English muffins. My Foster Farms gluten free corn dogs. Yum! I still cannot wait for you guys to try that. And last but not least, my Ego Waffles. Cinnamon Ego Waffles. I actually just looked at the back, and they actually have original too. So you can get original and cinnamon in their gluten-free waffles. So thank you for joining In Spite of and Because of with Brecken, and this is a list for your five February favorites. This is Brecken and Parker signing off. Thank you for joining us, and please leave a comment below if you've tried any of these items. I would love to hear your feedback. If you enjoyed them, maybe you only do gluten-free here and there. Let me know if it compares to any of the gluten versions. Um, I absolutely love them, but I would love to hear your reviews. Maybe you found something different that you like. I'd love to check it out. So let's keep this together, gluten-free friends. And I look forward to hearing from you. Comment below, subscribe, join us in our next gluten-free favorites. So I look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.